requiring your nanny to have a college degree is ridiculous. I totally understand standards and you definitely want your child's caregiver to have extensive knowledge in the subject. However, no one goes to college to be a full-time caregiver for your children. It doesn't take a degree to be a parent so it doesn't take a degree to help raise someone's child. It's not a private teacher or tutor. It's a ridiculous standard. Edit forgot to add that unless you are paying the caregiver accordingly to their education level then don't expect someone with a degree to work for you. If you are willing to pay for someone with a degree, feel free to. I don't think it's wrong to want a nanny to have a formal education in something like early childhood development. But if you require that, you better compensate properly. I agree. But we some people do go to school to be a full-time caregiver. My kid's nanny has a degree in childhood development, and she's great probably partly because of it. I think it is a good idea if you are willing to pay accordingly. TBH I think people should need a degree to be parents at this point. The college degree thing is just a way of filtering out undesirables, just like most other job postings. Or it depends on what the position actually entails. Some people view nannies as secondary caregivers providing transport, meals, baths, laundry services with a focus on kids. You don't need a college degree for that. But if the expectation is for the nanny to supplement the child's education or act as a tutor, a college degree is helpful not only in proving mastery of a subject matter, but technique to communicate the materials effectively. There are careers in child care though. It's okay to have any standards you desire, especially when it comes to your children. Shrug light skin tone emoji modifier hashtag hash. My only comment is how much are you willing to pay them? I agree if it's like the numerous posts on our choosing beggars where they want a babysitter with a bachelor's degree for $2 hour. However I knew someone who was a live-in nanny for a cardiac surgeon and she made around 60k a year, this was in the early 2000s, that was pretty good money at the time. I have read that high-end nanny can be pretty lucrative if you have the skill sets and connections to get into it. It's only ridiculous if you require them to have a degree and also intend to pay them the same amount you'd pay a typical babysitter. Some parents very deliberately want someone who knows more about child rearing than they do, and as long as they are willing to pay appropriate compensation for a subject matter expert, that's totally fine. There are indeed people who make a career out of being a professional nanny. Preschool and kindergarten teachers have degrees. There's no reason you can't ask for someone who has taken child development courses in college. People also want this person to help teach their children languages and finish homework. It's not an unreasonable ask as long as the position pays well. Most of the college degree required nanny positions I've seen are for two reasons. One, they want a degree specifically in early childhood education, healthcare, or something related to children. This makes sense considering the job requirements. 2. They use it as a way to filter candidates. A lot of people think being a nanny is an easy job, but JT actually requires a lot of skill. The degree prevents being overloaded with applications from unqualified people. I mean if you do, you better pay accordingly. This is a dumb opinion. Child development can be studied and very helpful when raising children. Also saying parents don't need a degree in a country that has failing kids isn't a flex cue. Surround yourself with winners to succeed maybe? A nanny is much more than a babysitter. They do nutrition, safeguarding, learning styles, curriculums, child development generally, all sorts. If I was gonna have a would be as follows. An even temperament. CPR training. Knows how to put out an oil fire on the stove just in case. Likes board and card games. Nice but not necessary a car and driver's license insurance because I live in a field and everything is at least 15 minutes drive away. I'm as a professional nanny, let me tell you I get paid better than most teachers. So if they want me to have a degree, it makes sense. But there is a difference between a babysitter and a nanny. There's also a difference in an average nanny and a professional one. I will say that my duties included beyond just caring for the kids, but also guiding them teaching them manners, 
giving them a lot of exercise, showing them right from wrong, and providing educational materials every single day. I'm going to disagree with you here. Children are impressionable and I noticed uneducated people have interesting ideas about health care, for example. You have people taking care of your kids' health that believe doctors are evil and turpentine cures cancer. No thanks. I mean they're allowed to have standards for people who are going to be caring for their children full-time IMO. There are degrees in child care and development. Many of these nannies are helping with school work. It totally makes sense. It's not a ridiculous standard if you are paying them an amount that justifies requiring the degree. Is a child care training college for super nannies. But I don't disagree. I think experience, attitude, and potentially certifications are far more useful for a nanny. I have a degree in psychology and have been a nanny for most of my adult life. My degree has been incredibly useful in understanding child development, tantrums, etc. I think the problem lies in the rates being offered. If you want somebody with a college education, you have to pay them for the education, because those loans are sure as heck not cheap. The only thing I require is CPR certification. Sounds like someone didn't go to college. If I'm paying $25 an hour, I don't think that asking for a degree is early childhood education is unreasonable. Most people with degrees in ECE do in fact go to school specifically to care for preschool age children. I'd rather hire a nanny with an education that to find out after a devastating situation, they couldn't apply critical thinking skills to save my child. I paid good money to give high quality early childhood education and care to both my kids. Yeah, they'd be fine otherwise but what if? Shrug hashtag hash not worth finding out. The only thing my college degree has done for me in my nannying career is give me a pay bump. I want my nanny to be an engineer to be qualified to watch my children. S. A nanny and a babysitter are different though. I actually would prefer my nanny to have an ECE or something like that. I just want my nanny to be a rock-solid human. Which isn't as easy as it should be. If I'm hiring someone to a job, I get to set whatever requirements I want to within the law obviously. It's up to the people with my requirements to decide if they are going to apply for it or not. Plenty of people do go to college and want to be full-time caregivers of children. My mother is a nanny with a degree in early childhood education and she knows plenty of other nannies with similar qualifications. I personally wouldn't hire a nanny who didn't have a degree as I want someone knowledgeable on the subject of child development. If you want a less qualified nanny for your own kids that is of course your choice, but it, it is just blatantly incorrect to say no one goes to college intending to be a full-time caretaker of children. It's fine as long as you pay. What an incredibly brave unpopular opinion. You must have considered going into witness protection before throwing this one up, I'm sure. It's not a private teacher or tutor. A nanny is both of those things, I think you might be thinking of a babysitter. Not to your main point, but a sub-point, maybe we should require education to be a parent, too many fuckers raising other fuckers. My wife's early childhood development degree to you pathetic. No, but honestly I don't think she's a better parent. Right, guys? So I actually know people who go into early childhood development with the intention of being caregivers. They're more marketable BC, they understand development and different teaching strategies more than your average nanny. If I had nanny money I'd definitely look more into one who has some type of degree in early childhood education or development, or even developmental psychology. It would ensure my child had the best possible upbringing. But alas I do not have nanny money. This post sounds like overkill. If my requirement is I need a PH.D for someone to do my gardening, what's wrong with that? If I can't find one then it's my problem. If I find 10-20 candidates then it's not a problem. Same with requiring a college degree for a nanny. If I get plenty of qualified candidates with degrees in child care then why shouldn't I have that as a standard? If I spent all that time and money getting a degree I sure wouldn't want to watch someone else's kids for a living.